The smooth, soft-shell turtle has a boring yet descriptive name. However, they have some distinguishable features and can be a fun turtle to look out for while kayaking the waterways. The smooth, soft-shell looks a little like a pancake. Instead of hard scoots and an armored shell, their carapace is made of leathery skin. This soft body makes them vulnerable to predators, but allows them to move much faster in the water. These turtles have long necks, and the head tapers into an elongated tubular snout. Their long necks let them rest on the stream bottom and lift their heads above water to breathe. It is also handy when grabbing prey. They are mostly carnivorous and feed on fish, insects, mollusks, and amphibians. They also scavenge for carrion and eat some vegetation. They inhabit central and southern states in the U.S. and live in rivers and streams as well as the occasional pond or lake. They prefer waterways with sandy or muddy substrates that they can burrow in versus rocky stream beds. Smooth, soft-shelled turtles brumate from November to March. They remain submerged and partially buried under sand and mud during hibernation. They are able to survive by absorbing oxygen through the skin that covers their shells. They occasionally move in order to create currents of water that flow over their bodies. This replenishes the water that surrounds them with fresh, highly oxygenated water. Smooth, soft-shelled species are fully aquatic. They come out of the water to briefly bask and lay their eggs. In summer, females come out of the water, dig a hole, and lay eggs in the sandy river bank. Holes are about 12 inches deep, and there are anywhere between 3 and 12 eggs. The babies hatch 8 to 12 weeks later, typically in August and September. They are very tiny, measuring one and a half inches across. They are independent as soon as they hatch and can find food for themselves. The nesting time puts females in danger of being eaten by coyotes and foxes. The eggs are partially vulnerable to raccoons and skunks who dig them out of the soft sand. Soft-shelled turtles have numerous predators. One reason, they spend so much time submerged in the water. However, they are prey for snapping turtles and alligators in their water habitat. Humans also prey on them as a food source and for the illegal pet trade market. If you purchase a pet turtle, make sure you are buying a captive bred species from a licensed breeder. Illegal kidnapping of wild turtles for pets is contributing to population decline. I hope this video is providing interesting information so far. Please boop that like button to let the algorithm know. Currently, the smooth, soft-shelled turtle is considered of least concern on the IUCN red list, but it is becoming increasingly vulnerable due to human activity. In Wisconsin and Minnesota, they are listed as vulnerable and are a species of concern. Soft-shelled turtles are more prone to pollution and poor water quality. This is because of their ability to exchange gases, such as oxygen, across their skin. In some areas, the chemical rotenone is allowed to be placed in ponds to kill fish or may be used as an insecticide. Water contaminated with pesticides used to kill fish can inhibit turtles' breathing. Clean waterways are critical for their survival. Keeping the shorelines of any rivers or lakes natural is important for smooth, soft-shelled turtles. They need soft surrounding substrate in order to bury their eggs. It can interfere with the turtle's egg laying 
if cycle paths and paved footways are placed alongside rivers or lakes. Nesting turtles, their nests, and the eggs themselves can be disturbed by humans. Reducing boating activity near nest sites and preventing dog walkers from entering the area during nesting season can reduce the disturbance. Always remember to be respectful to wildlife while you are out enjoying nature. Turtles are one of my favorite animals, and I have several other turtle videos. Check out this one on turtle homing instincts. Thanks for watching, and have a fabulous day.